yeah once again i uh, uh, very good evening everyone i all wish you a very very happy independence day on this day and also i welcome you all for this aws solutions architect uh, training program yeah last uh, class we had gone through a very 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 important i'll just recap what we have spoken last week we have gone through a major module in especially in networking domain that is uh, vpc okay so we learned about in our last class about basics of networking and also uh, what is vpc also virtual private cloud and uh, we also demonstrated the lab i mean the uh, the working in uh, the practical way of how to deploy a vpc and also after deploying the vpc we also deployed this uh, what we call as a subnets and uh, we also created a route table we also created an internet gateway attached to the vpc and also created a router i mean route table one for your subnets and one for your vpc yeah uh, one for your internet gateway that is the thing so once these things are done the, we are ready with the vpc Uh, we have deployed the infrastructure aws infrastructure especially on uh, the vpc itself so one gateway services we have gone through yes i have shown you diagrammatically also all the model of what all we are doing uh, yes <clears throat> the gateway services which are directly attached from the internet gateway we logged into the windows server we logged into the windows server from the windows server we try to logged into subnet 2 subnet 3 which has no private ips we have only public ips so we try to attach all those things yes it worked really well and then we saw about the connectivity from your system to uh, i mean from your system to directly to the vpc and from the vpc to various subnets yeah very very important lab and also i have shared all the recordings to you all i hope you all had good practice during the weekend also and all the topics which you have gone through especially uh, topics on rds topics on what we call as uh, the storage topics on load balancer topics on auto scaling and also the vpc yes please if there are any quick questions you can also ask me now and also i hope that you are also going through the important points and also the a uh, reference book which i have given you which is very 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 official book I, uh, the copy which is there so yes that is very very important for your i mean education especially when you are preparing for the exam yeah any quick questions from any members please let me know otherwise we'll go ahead with uh, today's topic yes please still some more members needs to join yeah i think uh, one more i think uh, two more member three more members needs to join yeah please ask me questions meanwhile yes please if there are no questions just let me know that there are no questions so that i can understand very well no questions sir okay vamshi no questions sir shashank also no i hope you all has gone through done the exercise very well yes please others also please to mention no questions sir Okay, Vinay. No questions. No questions. Satvika, no. That's nice. Yes, no questions. Sir. I also no. No questions. Yeah, Raven. No so, questions. Yeah, can... No questions. Okay. okay, that's nice. If there are any questions, also you are welcome to ask at any point of time. Right. So yeah, let me. share my system also then i will quickly go ahead with the today's topic so today's topic is also very very important this week i think more or less we will be going through some of the important topics that is on networking okay so i hope you should be more uh, especially for the solutions architect this is very 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 important topics okay so let us understand all these topics very well okay i'll start sharing my system Yeah, I hope you can see my shared system. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Yeah, today's topic will be on Route Fifty Three. Route Fifty Three. So before I explain about the service Route Fifty Three, I wish to explain about something which is called as DNS. DNS, Domain Name System. 
very important i tell you very important understanding of domain name system is essential for route 53 okay so the other day we were discussing about the internet okay intranet and internet the networking part see this is the thing which we spoke before uh, before uh, la, la, during the last week so we spoke about intranet and internet so networking is of two types so we spoke about intranet for vpc the complete day and the vpc building all these things will be on uh, intranet so today we will discuss on the public network that is on internet of course this uh, route 53 can also be done or dns management can also be done on intranet but yes we will understand a little bit more in detail about this particular one so especially what does this route 53 does is uh, basically managing the hosted name domains management of hosted name domains so like understanding like i'll tell you how you can host uh, a name to a domain till uh, last week uh, till last week or till our last class uh, we were launching a web server we were launching a web server so when we launch a web server what is happening is that uh, only with ip address we are able to uh, basically assign the website okay so this particular lab exercise we may not be able to do in what we call a sandbox i tell you uh, there are some restrictions so only in the free tier account you can do this particular one again i repeat this exercise you may not be able to do in sandbox because we may not be able to create a domain it's not free so i'll teach you how you can do in a free tier account okay so first and foremost thing what i do is that i have already logged in to my free tier account before and i'm saying before and i'm saying so i have already logged in so i will also create a website a simple testing website for you and then i'll start explaining about the dns management okay so in what way this will be helpful i'm going to speak so here the launch instance i launch a linux instance and that to a website so we know how to launch a website right so i'll quickly launch out or launch this one opt out so i say uh, launch this particular one select this t2 micro uh, a simple basic web server i need configure your instance details all these things are okay in the post user data i will pay, paste the script which i had given you couple of days back during your load balancer i think uh, uh, where is that otherwise for creation of website okay for creation of uh, a website it's not there here but i will open this one so small one a small one i will uh, just say it's a hello world website okay i'll just say copy or this one it is already available over there uh, you can do the same thing over there also it's there in the chat also so what i do i create a website hello world okay or i can give my own name i just removed l h1 line equal to center okay that's enough you can use as it is also i'm just adding something change add stories leave as it is add tags maybe add name and also a web server a web server okay just a name configure your security group and add uh, http here just say anywhere that's fine review and launch and launch i acknowledge launch the instance so in couple of minutes the website should be ready with an ip address so you see this one this is the website which is getting ready this is your public ip you open this one the website should start functioning in few minutes in few minutes now it will not it will take some time okay so any questions till now any questions till now please do ask me so if there are no questions yeah i'll start explaining about what we call is the dns yes please any questions we have just created a web server we are just we already did number of times now also i have added the script we just finished up in couple of minutes the website should be ready yeah one or two members can specify any questions till now 
No, sir. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, you should be familiar of doing this uh, web server instantaneously with a short script. Keep all the things handy in your direct directory or something like that. When anything, so someone sometime will ask, hey, what is the uh, policy for accessing the bucket? Okay, to make a, a public uh, static website, you should have it ready like this, a website, something like that. Anything which is coming across, you should have a handy notes for each and everything. So my suggestion, please keep it handy, all these things. Right, so now just let me uh, say after a few minutes, you can see this particular one, the website should be ready. Yeah, it is working now. Hello world, uh, line equal to center. Yes, it is done, it is done. So now let me explain. See, the very reason is that you have only the IP address. You don't have a name here. You don't have a name here. So now in this particular one, we will understand how to assign a name to this website. It can be whatever the website which you have completed. So now let us understand about this Route 53. Is this clear the need of Route 53? Close this one. Okay, so this uh, uh, now I'll explain about the DNS. So the behind the architecture of this uh, uh, what we call as the internet management is the DNS. DNS stands for domain name system. You see again, I'm going back to some essentials about networking, I tell you. So if I ask you how the network internet is organized, pretty simple. Let me ask a basic question to all of you. Let me ask a very basic question to all of you. Okay, who owns the internet? We all know from about 15, 20 years or by birth, we are watching what is internet. Who? Question is who owns the internet or who is the owner of internet? Or how internet is managed? Yes, please. I want answers from you all. Who manages the internet? ISPs. You mean to say ISPs. collection of ISPs? Uh, it's owned, it's not owned by anyone rather. Uh, it's like a network, uh, mutually shared information. Okay, any other answers? So Sai it's says nice. ISPs and Raven says that it's not managed by anyone. Chandan, yes? Aina, sir. Absolutely. Aina, Aina, I think you heard in my previous class. So, yeah, so it is uh, not Sai, not Raven, it is Aina. AINA stands for Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. Okay, Numbers Authority. So these are the people, AINA, you can go and visit AINA. I may not be explaining AINA in detail, AINA.org. Basically, they are the global, what we call as Internet Authority. They have two functions, I tell you. One is the IP addresses, the public address, IP address space. The other day I spoke. Other than the private range, all the other IPs are considered as public. That is completely, completely managed by AINA. Okay, and also the second thing is the DNS management. What is DNS now? The naming. So there are lot of root domain servers like .org, .com, .edu, .coin or something like that. These are all various domains which are there. So any new domain needs to be implemented or registered only through AINA. Only through AINA. When once AINA registers the domain name .com or then automatically subdomains will start. If I say if I say IBM.com, IBM is the organization name, but .com is assigned by AINA. I hope everything is clear. So here, if you see this particular one, AINA.org. Okay, this is uh, what which I mean to say. Wait, let it. It's coming. Internet, the global coordination of DNS route, IP addressing, and other internet protocol resources performed as the AINA, Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. They are the overall authority. Who has? So when once you say this particular one, uh, database of root top level. So all these are now currently registered. Currently registered. Only these things only function. From alphabet A to alphabet uh, Z, you can see all the things which are there, alphabet Z, which is there. So some people own the things which are there. Some people, it is for public also, which is there, right? You can see this one. And there are about, about I tell you, for, to manage all this database and websites, 
okay again i tell you to manage all these websites and this database of all these domains there are about 14 root domain servers 14 root domain servers you can see this one uh, 14 or 13 i don't remember correctly but there are something like this root zone database you can see this particular one 11 uh, root 11 i think let me see let me see uh, anyway that is not that much important but still uh, we can understand uh, uh, so these are all uh, various ip these things you can see all various subdomains and etc will be there uh, root servers or you can ask root servers root servers where are those 13 13 ah yes 13 13 root servers are there a b c d f g h like that it will be there anyway that is not that much important just understand just understand that uh, this aina basically has all the 13 circulated across in various geographical areas and they have the database and from there the isps come into the picture isps has to connect to the aina virtually is not may not be physically virtually through some sources through some sources like if you say maybe bharti telecom or reliance telecom in india or at&t or maybe uh, british telecom or whatever it is there in bureau power whatever it is there whatever it is there they have to go through only the aina aina is the only single largest distributor they have the overall power so now let us understand about what this dna server really contain dns server this is what is the technical part which we need to so who is managing the root domain servers aina it is very clear and there are many other people also like google also has microsoft also has dns servers they have but where do they get the data from the aina only from nowhere else aina has various distributions and various other methods but it is through them only it comes so now let us understand about the dns server components there are primarily two components in uh, dns server okay two components please understand this one these are the type of questions which you get in interviews components okay one is one is i tell you the primary component in dns is your name server name server please understand this one we also call as name server means that to establish establish establ establish name to the internet space internet or intranet whatever it is intranet internet space i write it here internet space you can have if you are registered internet the intranet you have the dns server okay whether it is managed by intranet means it is managed by the organization internet means it is managed by aina that is the only difference so name sir so what does it do whenever you assign a name a name suppose my organization name is abcd.com that name needs to be registered first like so how do we get registered in college the first day they verify all the certificates and assign all the things once it is verified by automatically they will assign you a unique number a unique number where you can be called in future same thing in office also same thing here also the name should not have a duplicate across the internet space or intranet space whatever it is the same name should not exist so in that way the name is registered first name is registered that is what is name server means so once that is registered it is populated to all the servers in the domain in the domain the next one to establish so once this is established so this established name will be given an identity will be given an identity or it is it is uh, this name is what we call as this name is also uh, what we call as uh, associated associated with a unique ip address we know that see this name again i write it here is also associated with a unique ip address it has to be otherwise how will we call the name internet as uh, routers and all these things understands only the ip address only the ip address and this ip address is basically translated to the translated with a name and hence and hence the name whenever we call it automatically floats on our system routers understands only ip address your network card understands only ip address right and the protocols behind this particular one i tell you uh, arp 
is the address resolution protocol address resolution protocol okay this basically translates or maps maps your okay your name with an ip address so once you call a name i want to search google.com www.google.com you give it in the browser what happens immediately your arp that is address resolution protocol will automatically translate into ip address will automatically translate it basically asks the dns server hey someone is asking with so and so name what is that so your what is the dns server will immediately answer it is referring to so and so ip address so and so ip address this is the function of your arp okay i'll show you with an example even you can also try you can just go to c prompt cmd just say cmd i'll show you here how it does so there is a tool called as ns lookup please understand this one the very very important tool where you can really understand ns ns lookup just say that this is a dns tool inside your c prompt even in your mac system also ns lookup windows system or in every i mean even in your linux system also ns lookup so once you say www.google.com you give this particular one you say just google.com or any website any website what happens it will tell you so it has returned back with some answer so just try to understand you asked a question hey just tell me what is google.com it immediately this one this tool has fetched fetched to whom to the service provider to the dns address to the dns so this is my dns server who has answered this is my authority this is my authority who has answered what is the question what is www.com this is the question so this authority has given an answer saying that www.google.com is nothing but so and so ip address and so and so ip address it has returned back saying that so and so are in ipv6 and ipv4 both it has translated so once this is done this router understands oh 142 i should reach this data to this particular area 142 to and it goes to the destination in this way it identifies in this way this id you ask any other maybe www microsoft.com i give microsoft.com it has given so again you asked a question so your authority server is this particular one non authority you can see there are various servers which are there all the known nearby whatever the registered do domain name system servers has uh, translated this is done by arp i tell you this is done by the arp so what does arp do the name is translated to an ip address in this way uh, our browser goes uh, browser uh, sends the data and one, sorry the router basically takes the name and it gets the ip address once the ip address is known the router takes to the destination where the uh, really the web server is and the data is brought back and of course there are some alias also recorded what is alias a duplicate name you can see this one this www.microsoft.com can also be called as edgekey.net or global key so and so so and so are there i hope this is clear so there is a reverse way of translation also i tell you reverse way of translation not much websites use only very very few websites which you use which we also call as rarp reverse address resolution protocol reverse address resolution protocol what does that do when you give an ip address it maps okay the database maps reverse direction uh, the ip address is mapped to name not all the things will be there only big websites has so this is how the translation is done and the protocol which we use here is dns and the port number which we use is 53 that's why we call as route 53 again i tell you the protocol is dns and the port we use is 53 okay this is the first function first component i tell you name server okay the first part what it has done the name whenever you give a name it has translated to ip address now the second question where is that ip address where is it whether in which continent which continent how to go to that destination is called as lookup is called as lookup lookup means identifying the destination till the destination identifying or tracing 
tracing path to destination okay destination this is called as lookup so we have two type of lookups we have two type forward lookup forward lookup zone and also we have reverse lookup zone in forward lookup zone what happens is that in forward lookup zone what happens is that the name is okay name is associated name is translated to ip address and starts ip address okay this is also called as a okay this is also called as a associate so it is associated and with help of that it goes over there in reverse lookup zone it's basically uses this ai rarp protocol the ip address is translated or is uh, uh, what we call as mapped mapped okay mapped to uh, the name to the name okay we also call as point to record point to uh, record ptr i hope this is clear so uh, dns has two components primary one is your name server which establishes name in the internet space or intranet space the difference between intranet and internet is internet is managed by uh, aina which i have shown you intranet is managed by your by your website pro i mean not your website provider by your organization by your organization okay so this name is associated with unique ip address so every website has a unique ip so today in our class we have ip address but we don't have a name so we want to associate a name so i'll show you how you can do this cannot be done in sandbox environment because we don't have a name so we have arp we have ar we, we understood about the name server component that is arp and rarp also and also the protocol also behind that 53 these are the important points which i mentioned please do by heart these things very very important for your what we call as uh, especially for your uh, interviews and etc even for your understanding also how websites function and the second function of your second component is your lookup component okay so these are the two components we have this flz and rlz also no forward lookup zone name is we have this uh, naming as a for associate so we have let me understand let me summarize this one naming naming terminology okay naming terminology so i already spoke about this particular one important tool uh, the tool for uh, for verification ns lookup ns lookup you can translate you can understand this one so there are some other tools also like your ping and all these things you should be familiar of uh, uh, understanding about whether the website is working or not ping this all these things are same ns lookup and ping are the most important tools which you should understand and in naming terminology i'll just summarize all the things uh, is ns ns i just spoke ns means name server this is how the database is written in your what we call as internet space the database the terminology in this way only it understand a only the important point once only i'm telling not all there are huge number of things which are there associate with a name with ip address this is mainly used for forward lookup zone mainly used for forward lookup zone okay and now ptr dr stands for point to record point to record which is mainly used for rlz not not all websites we use okay and also most importantly soa soa start of authority whenever you start the script you write html like that right here we start with soa start of authority okay this is a standard one for any website soa ns and associate these are must without that the website won't function okay we still have some more components uh, let me tell you uh, c name c name is it like an alias like an alias canonical name if anyone doesn't understand please stop me and ask questions no problem canonical name because i know that all of you are first timers many time of many time many people are first timers so please understand this one canonical name mx mail exchanger these are the shortcuts which you used in the uh, what we call as in your name servers in your name servers mail exchanger i think these are enough some people may ask you four as which is used for v6 associate with v6 ipv6 associate name with ipv6 address 
used again in forward lookup zone only. Four A's. That is 32, and this is 128. So hence we write it like that. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? So this is your main basic important sir. things which you should know. Yes, so, please. If there are no questions, just let me know. Sir, if there are any questions. No. Canonical name is an Elias, second name. If you want to give a second name, yes, you can. So there is a separate for uh, separate server for all these services, right? Absolutely. It has to be registered. I tell you, see, as a, see, these are Elias's, right? Three things. This is canonical names. You got it, right? So servers means, as I mentioned that for internet, you need to get it registered. You need to buy the domain, domain space, right? That is the reason in free tier it won't work, I said. Sir, this like, uh, these canonical names, these uh, things are managed by company itself or uh, uh, it's managed hosting, by hosting, hosting, the, the website hosting providers. Uh, example, Aina, Aina, like Aina, Aina doesn't do anything. Aina only is the root domain servers. It only provides the root. Okay. Uh, so only the root. The subdomains and all the things are managed by the service provider, sub. I mean that ORG, COM, all those things, ISPs cannot do. Is this clear? That INA can do. After that, whatever the things you can do. I mean service providers, later on your name and etc. all those things. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Uh, so, can I, like for canonical names, do we have to pay? Or, uh, canonical names, do? Do we have to pay? No, no. It's a the part of that. Service provider will give you because you are not owning any IP address or anything, only a name and only a canonical name, a duplicate name of that. Some providers give only one name or some providers give only two canonicals. It depends because the charges are included in that. It's not free. In internet space, nothing is free. Your IP address is costly. Your name is also costly. You need to pay for that. But in intranet, it is owned by the organization. It works only in the intranet within your organization. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions apart from Chandan? Please ask. Please ask. Very important. Right. So if there are no questions, so some of you may do this lab or many of you may not be able to do this lab because we need to have a domain name. So what I do for this particular exercise, I will just give you a method of where you can create a free domains. First of all, before I created the free domains or anything, I will just show you about the construction about this particular. See, already I have shown you the website here. You see this one, the website is functional. Now we need to associate a name. So here, I just duplicate this one. Just watch this one at a later stage also. Anyway, I'll be sharing the recordings. You can also do this particular exercise. So what I do, I go to this networking. I go to this networking and click this route 53. You see this one? Scalable DNS and domain name registration. So I just click this one. This is my server. You see this one. This is my server. I have an IP address. I tried. I have already web server running. I uh, that is uh, HTTP Apache web server. Now, now let let me tell you. So first of all, I should get a name. First is that I should get a name. Register domain. So this is the one. It has four components. You see this one. Route 53 which is domain name DNS management completely create a hosted zone. Okay. Okay. Domain name registration, availability monitoring, traffic management, all the four controls are there. So if I say about register domain, there is no free tier in this particular one. You need to pay for this one. So you see this one, all the dot sites which are there. You see this one, all the things. The cheapest one also you get not less than 10 or 12 dollars. This is per year. They charge, okay, 9 dollars is there and so and so, so and so. You see this one, 31 dollars, various things which are there. You can give, you can search your domain. Suppose if I want Ayanand KE and say search, check. It will tell you which are all the things which are available. You see this one, anandke.link is there, 5 dollars. 5 dollars which is available. $5 will come to about 400 plus tax. So that is the cheapest one I can see. And that is the cheapest one I can see. If you want, you can add to cart and then buy. You can add to cart. Since we are learning for organizations, they'll buy. For organizations, it's a condition that they have to buy. Whatever is the website which they wanted, they can. Oh, 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 they can. So, but here I do not want to buy because it is costly. Five, only for testing, see. 
see like this so what i do i have a website i show you again i go back to this route 53 dashboard i'll buy from a third party third party it can be a godaddy or it can be anything any website you can buy any website you can buy whoever are the hosting providers so similarly one of the website which i have is like uh, not this one is this one uh, this particular one free now free now dot dot tk yeah dot dot tk this is my free norm dot com which is there this fellow is offering free domains free websites you see this one if i click this one a name for everyone so i'll just say this particular one register a new domain if i say like that you see register find a new free domain find a new free domain anyone i have not logged in also now so i suppose if i say anand k let me check let me check the availability yeah it is available this fellow is saying that anandk.tk is available zero dollars anandk.ml is also available zero dollars anandk.ga is also see about five domains are there see these are not .com or .org or something like that if i want .com i have to pay eight and a half dollars i think something like that you see this one these are all the pricings and eu nl tv all these things are there various kind of domains but since this fellow is offering this particular one i can register into this free norm okay i can register into this free norm later on you can do this registration part if you are interested it's not domain it's not free it's not uh, what we call it it is free only it's free only no credit card or no debit card nothing is required but the only the challenge is that how to register there is no uh, what we call as uh, uh, logo given uh, where how to create there is a video for that how to Uh, you can do from that okay so i'll just log in i have already created earlier login later on also you can create this particular one uh, i'll just log in just watch this one how to create a domain so i just logged in i just logged in so here they are this fellow is giving free domains amazon is not giving free domains that is the only problem otherwise you can do everything even in the free tier also you don't get even in the what we call as uh, uh, sandbox also you don't get okay so i i say register a new domain i say now a registered new domain so here find a new domain i say anand k check availability yeah it is available maybe i'll take this anand k.cf or anand gq or ml or tk anything so i'll just say the first one they are all free get it now get it now yeah it has one domain in the cart check out very simple there is one domain i'm just purchasing there is no credit card again i say if anyone is asking for a credit card don't so this fellow is offering domain for about 12 months one year free domain so for me one month is enough for me now not required 3 months or something like that you can see this one uh, this fellow this anand k dot tk i'm choosing this particular one okay so i'll say continue i say continue so it is total of 0 dollars i read in so and so it is already traced from where this domain is being purchased complete my order the challenge is also there i tell you for registering this particular account so i have a video you can go through that video in uh, what we call as uh, uh, sessions folder yeah yeah thank you for your order go to your client area so now i have one domain with me you see this one go to my domains you see one domain is available with me so here if you click this particular domain nothing will come now because there is no website which is attached this is available for me this is available for me okay so i have registered a domain name so registering domain so what did we do www. dot tk this is the website okay which offers free domains for all okay so here i have registered one domain name which is called as this particular one http colon anandk.tk now i am the uh, owner of this particular domain in the internet space i am the owner for about next one month okay 
So now I want to assign this one for with this website, which I have created earlier, which I have created earlier. How to do that? How to do that? So let us learn about that. So this is the one website. Okay. So how to do that? Okay. Is this the concept clear till now? Everyone? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, we Right. We need to associate our IP address to this domain, right? Absolutely. Then only our website will start functioning. This is called a DNS management. So now what we are going to do, the first part of Route 53 we learned, that is domain registration. We didn't do from this one, but we, we did from a different website. Now let us learn about the DNS management. A hosted zone, this is called as a hosted zone, create a hosted zone. Route 53 to respond DNS queries for a domain name called as example.com. So I already have a domain name now that is called as anandk.tk. So I will create a hosted zone. I will create a hosted zone. Please understand this one. What is the domain name? Anandk.tk. Okay, don't give any HTTP or something like that. So exactly it should match the thing which you have created. You see this one, this is anandk.tk. Exactly it should match. It is giving, right? Optional. Is it public or private? It is public. If you are hosting in a VPC, then it is private, right? So it's a public hosted zone. Just uh, create a hosted zone. Okay, so anandk.tk was publicly. It won't work in the sandbox environment, again I tell you. So what has happened? So it has created a hosted zone. So you see this one, name server and SOA records are created. So these are the name servers what Amazon does have. There are four name servers which are there. Here you see this one. These are the four name servers which are there where Amazon's websites can function only on these websites, only on these name servers, right? So what do we do this one? What do we do this particular one? I'll just copy this. These are the name servers. Okay, these are the name servers where Amazon has. I will also try to add a record, associate record. You see this one, create a record. Create record. NS, SOA, and the third one which I mentioned is A. Associate a name with an IP address. This is the website address. So what I do, create a record. So I say anandk.tk, www, or you can leave it blank also, www, A. This is associate record. You see all this terminology is here. A, 4A, C name, MX, PTR. As I mentioned, all these things, NS, there are some more things which are not. But now a record is required. So what is the value of the website? This is the one. This is your uh, IP address. You need to associate now. This will associate. Okay. I'll just give the IP address only. Nothing else. No protocol, nothing. So 34.229. This is your IP. This is your website. It should function with a name. So here we are associating this particular one. So here you see this one, the TTL is also there, time to live. I mean that it will try to connect for 300 seconds. If you want lesser also, you can have. That will be more faster. And there is a routing policy also. I'll explain that later. Okay, simple routing, weightage routing, geolocation, this type of questions will come. But as of now, if you don't specify anything, it is a simple routing policy. Is this clear till now? What we are doing? So okay. TTL, it's uh, related to caching. No, no. When you give a website, it will search for 300 seconds and then it will give timeout. Okay. Right? It will search 300 seconds. So just say create a record. Yeah. It has created. Now you see this one. There is a web record here. There is a web record. Now let us try. Let us try. After few seconds, maybe 5, 10 seconds or 5, 10, 15 seconds, this should get updated right in the DNS server. This should get updated in the DNS server. Then after few seconds, maybe you can see this particular one. Uh, what is that? Anandk.tk should start functioning. Should start functioning. It is not yet. It's not. Yet. There is another reason also why it is not functioning. The DNS servers which Amazon has and the DNS server what this fellow is having is different. So it has to redirect. See, your website is hosted in Amazon, right here in this particular Amazon infrastructure. And he has the domain servers as this one. Whereas dot dot tk has a DNS servers, a different one. So that and this may not communicate also. Sometimes it communicates, sometimes it may not. 
so that is one of the reason why you may not get even for after few minutes also or few minutes or a few hours also it's not coming it's not coming so what we do what we do we redirect the traffic we redirect the traffic to amazon from the website where you have created we will learn about how to do that so here you see this one my domains so this managed domain here you see this one this is my domain managed domain i click that oh it is time out services my domain i have this one managed domains you see this one in managed domains in management tools so name servers you can see this one use uh, uh, there are some free name name servers no i want to have a custom name servers custom name servers means is this one all these four which are there all these four which are there you see this one these are the four name servers of aws so if i point this particular one hey this is the name server you need to go ahead for searching the website then automatically it should come so now also it should not come it's trying but it's not coming so what i do i just change the name servers the name servers are not associated to this one so i just copy all the things name server 1 name server 2 these are the domain name servers .com .net .org .co.uk various type of servers are there minimum uh, uh, two should be there if you give all that's fine fantastic i just give this particular particular one just say change the name servers okay changes saved successfully just wait for about 5 10 seconds then afterwards you should see the website should start functioning i'll say www.anandk.tk it is not yet it's not yet so let me say let me say let me just wait 5 10 seconds it should start working or also i can create an alias what i do i do i edit this particular one i should not have given this particular one this particular one i'll remove of this one i don't want just give a website and i create an alias name you see this one it has changed anand k create a record i say www uh this is alias canonical name or i can specify this is an alias this is an alias uh traffic to another record choose record anand k dot tk simple routing policy yes create a record i created an alias record now there is a dot uh, after tk Oh, it's okay it's okay yeah say okay. it has created already you see this one www it is also an alias it is re re redirected to this particular one so now let me just say this particular one does not yet really anand k dot ek it will take some time some time http anand k dot ek sometime it would take more than 3 4 5 minutes hour. also 5 minutes also it will take it has to associate the traffic actually this is correct only this one yeah it has come now you can also try whether the website is functioning or not give the name anandk.tk whether it is www or it should both it should work even if i give www anandk.tk also should work yeah it is working no it's not working www i think that part needs to be yeah it is working now www and http also this is http this is www alias is also started functioning could you verify everyone yes yeah, sir yeah, is this clear creating your own website 
No, no, it's coming. Me, right? It is coming that you have created. Yeah, uh, it should created. come now. It should come now. It has already populated. It has already populated. Okay, the website. All of you can try. All of you can try. And I want everyone to do at a later stage also this exercise. It will really be a fantastic for all of you. You are not going to spend even a single rupee also. You are not going to spend, but you have to put effort. You have to put effort. You can create your website, host it on web, Amazon. And if you give this type of presentations, even to clients or colleges or whoever it is, it will be an excellent actually. You can create, all you need is only a website, web server. So if you want a web server later stage, I'll also show you how you can create a web server with backend, MySQL, PHP, and all this type of things also I'll show you. <coughs> if you do that, if you so, have that confidence, yeah. Yes, Chandra. Yeah, if I have the domain name, is uh, Route 53 service free or will there be any charges? I think there is for one time connection, they charge something like uh, 30 cents or something. One hosted zone. I have created. If you ho if you host the zone and delete it within uh, two three hours, they don't charge. If you keep it for long time per connectivity, create a hosted. Not for the domain Reg charges. Not for the domain charges. Just for domain charges they charge eight dollars, ten dollars like that. This is only thirty cents something. If you leave it for long time, one time, creating. Okay, That's negligible. Negli uh, see if I I have created now. If I delete within two to three hours, nothing, no charges will be there. They don't charge because they know that you are learning. Okay. Mm, yes. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Right. You know, T2 micro doesn't, they, there is no charge for one year. You can do that. Web server hosting, you can do that. You have a static IP and here you create a hosted zone on Freenom and then you can associate. In that way, you will learn also set two things. If you are hosting, yes. if you are creating a domain in Amazon itself, you don't do all these things. Domain redirection, nothing you will do. Only you create a hosted record. That's all. A. It will be done. But if you do, like some people own in different websites also. They buy from different service providers, the domain name. So once you get all the, you just uh, update the, the DNS records, you can see the website functional. Yeah, anyone, any question? It looks very simple. Please do that. Please do that. And some of you may ask me how to register this particular one. So there is a video also. Where is that? I'll show you in this particular one uh, AWS itself. Please go through that. If that is not working in YouTube, there are number of videos how to basically create your free tier account. So here, I think in 53, Route 53, uh, this particular one exercise, you have a video. You have a video, free norm account creation. Okay, please go through this video. 40 MB, you can download and do this particular one uh, perfectly. Right? Perfect. Yeah, any questions from anyone till now? No questions? Is it interesting? Website creation and all these things? Yes, sir. Yeah, about others? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Please yes, do sir. once. Yes. Yeah, please do once. This will be really, really interesting for you. I tell you. I tell you. So, uh, as I mentioned that, many people doesn't uh, show practical. They only teach, completely finish off. But I have shown you. Free tire, see in Canvas also you can't do that. You can't do that. They they are restricted because there is a charge for domain and also a hosted zone. So they don't give free of charge. Even in sandbox environment, he has very clearly mentioned, very clearly mentioned uh, there will be no uh, hosted zone entry. Uh, he will not give you that. I'll show you. Yeah, this is your, uh, this particular one I show you. Uh, when you once you go to the sandbox environment, he, he doesn't give you free of cost. It is restricted also. It is restricted also. That particular piece. I'll just show you. So the best way is the way which I'm teaching is the best way where you can get an account from Freenom and then you can do.
see this one this is the restrictions of route 53 where is that s3 you cannot register a domain he has clearly mentioned you cannot register a domain so we can't do that maybe if you register a domain in a different one the second part which you have done that part you can do that part you can do okay so now the most important one for our solutions architect also that is uh, basically understanding about the uh, uh, what we call as the policies routing policies i just teach you that just a second I think the document. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I tell you uh, there is a small PPT. I'll just show you that before I uh, talk about the policies. Very very important. You may get one question uh, from one of the policy. Okay. So I already explained some of the things. I, those things which I have explained, I'll just fast forward. So you see, it is a uh, Route 53 is a managed DNS. We also understood A to play C name, alias, all these things. so we also understood about how the web browser request route 53 and of course your application server and it goes through route 53 can be used to all these things also we discussed so public domain names you own or you buy okay private domain names can be resolved by your uh, local area i mean your uh, intranet uh, within your organization route 53 has the advanced features such as uh, so we can also do this particular one i'll speak about this advanced ones that is called as routing policies the load balancing health checkups and also routing policies you pay 50 see this is the one 50 cents per month per hosted zone if you are hosting a zone you pay 50 cents per month that is the charges which they do that is the charges which they do 30 rupees or 35 rupees 40 rupees you get so if you are deleting within 2 to 3 hours it's okay if you are doing a project also it it costs only 50 cents a month so now uh, we so c name also we spoke okay simple routing policy this is what which we have done so what what is simple routing policy very simple we map only a domain name to one url we give a url you give a domain name that's all you see this is your domain name this is your url i mean you to say that this is a record a record you associate that's all that is simple use when you need to redirect to a single resource you have only one resource one ip you can assign to one domain name only you can't attach health checks here we don't have health checks what is the meaning of health check if the web server is not responding you don't get the website that is what which is called as health check there is no one who is to monitor a website i mean monitor health checks when there is a failure it gives a report it gives a basically uh, it tells us oh there is a failure that is called as health check so we will learn about what is health checks also now so yeah so weighted routing policy is like this so what happens is that see suppose if your clients 70% are there in australia 20% are there in europe or europe or france 10% of them are there in mumbai so how do you do that so where if you host a web server in some location maybe in us or in australia 70% is okay but what about the other 30 so automatically this route 53 you can select the policy based on weighted routing policy so automatically it assumes that 20% of the map will go to i mean specific line but these are extra chargeable will be there it is not uh, free of cost for everything there will be small higher charges will be there so that the traffic will be diverted the 20% of divert can be you define that you define accordingly the percentage uh, exactly it should be there or not nothing required so that what happens uh, helpful to split the traffic between regions so it goes through different regions can be associated with health checks so how does it do based on the health checks we will learn about the health checks also in our class this is the second model which is also there weighted routing policy this is based on your location region wise regions are nothing but you know that regions there are 24 regions based on that it goes through various regions so this is latency based routing policy 
latency suppose if you host a web, uh, web server in uh, what we call as uh, uh, in one of the region okay you know that from india if you access us it's okay it is fast only but if you host the same web server in uh, tokyo or sydney it may be high latency so in order to reduce the latency what happens is that how the other people gets the same path it adopts and then it gives a priority basically a priority and then throughout the globe they get a better latency better latency it's not always germany may be directed to the us that if the lowest latency it will take check most of the times and then the shortest path for lower latency will be directed to all the regions it's not always the same right uh, this is one more policy which you can adapt so health checks also we will understand health check means that you can have uh, two or three servers also two or three uh, servers also yeah i'll tell you uh, before that uh, what i want to do here see this is instance right this is web server this is web server i have created i'll create one more instance i'll create one more instance i'll tell you why so i just say this particular one i create another one i say hello world this is a another website which i'm creating hello world okay and say add stories add tags another one another one i'm creating web server 1 configure your security group add this is a bit advanced please understand launch launch instances see the sun view instances here the second web server starts running within few minutes so now my situation is my situation is i have two instances now due to some reasons if this web server doesn't respond then what is the position of the clients you yeah, tell me someone if this web server due to some reasons is not working not working or it's not functioning or due to some some failure has happened to this web server what is the situation of the clients they will did not get a response yet. they will not get website they will yeah. not see so what is our task we want to search sometimes the website is too critical so we have an alternative server now here i have an alternative server what will i do what will i do there should be a health check mechanism again i repeat there should be a health check mechanism whenever this primary web server fails fails then automatically the second web server should be connected to the users how will that look be will it look fantastic yes it's high availability hmm highly yes. high availability right maybe there will be a delay of 10 15 seconds because of the health check health check needs to return back saying that the server is not functioning so once the health check reports your uh, what is that uh, your uh, uh, route 53 then what happens what happens immediately you define the alternative server here so i have an alternative server now i have an alternative server so i purposefully i have kept a change so that you will see that with the same domain how the website starts functioning okay so here this is my uh, what this is my url so yeah failover this is my failover this is my primary okay so now what i will do at a later stage at a later stage here i will stop the server this one i'll stop the server due to some reasons then automatically still my website this particular one website should start functioning on the failover is this clear what i'm doing with the same name it should start functioning with the failover is this clear yes everyone what we are doing now so we need to have a health check this is the failover this is the failover this is the primary one which is currently running it is functioning so we will configure this routing policy to the failover now now all of you understood about this health check right healthy and unhealthy so have this health check 
default is 3 you can reduce the interval you can reduce the interval to have a faster health check but don't do that it will incur more charges actually default health check interval is 30 seconds sorry 30 seconds is the default but you can set even up to 10 seconds but higher cost is this clear yes or no you can reduce the health check but if your uh, client requires you can reduce you can requires you can reduce okay so this is health check so now we are going to do this failure routing policy lab so here we have primary we have secondary two servers are there if this server is fail then automatically see the browser will be the same browser will be the same but if these two are already attached to a cluster i mean to a high availability or to a common nfs or something like that what will happen even if the server fails it will use the second server and then it can go back the server will be functional is this clear the object to a failover routing policy is the diagram clear everyone so route 53 will do we, we are going to we already did simple we are now learning about this failover routing policy any questions please ask so it will it's not like load balancing right no, it's, it's not load balancing. Backup. It's only purely based on health check. Load balancing is basically for every request, load balancer will take care. Here it's not like that. Once health check reports to Route 53, then only Route 53 will switch over to the secondary. So the secondary should be like uh, uh, running, running all the time. Always running. Idle. Ah, there is a huge difference between load balancing and failure. Load balancing means that request will be shared across the servers. Here it is not like that alternative. Sir, can we use route 53 with ELB as well? Yes, yes, you can do that. Route 53 no. with ELB for the servers. If you do that, then failure is not required, right? Yes, sir. Like, uh, this because serves, automatically that will take care. So this is for if you don't have, if you're having manual method, if you don't have load balancer, then you can do this particular method. Because completely route 53 will take care. If you have two servers in the on site, you cannot do load balancer right over there. But still you can do this particular one, right? So now let us do this failure routing policy here. So I hope the concept is clear. The concept is clear. So now we need to see this particular one. So first and foremost thing is go to your route 53. So this is the one you see this one already. I have this. Uh, what is that uh, simple routing policy? Leave it like that. We will change accordingly later. Go to your hosted zone. There are some steps we need to do perform one by one. Let us do that. So So the first and foremost thing is that see already I'm in the route 53 dashboard. See this one. First, let us understand about the health check. First, let us understand about the health check. So here in the navigation pane, you see this particular one. Uh, where is that health checks is there? You see hosted zones. We saw that we saw that go to health check. We want to create a health check. Is this clear? OK, create a health check. Create a health check. So here in the name i provide this health check as maybe a primary website health check something like that any name you can give primary website okay health some name anyway this recording i'll share later on also you can go through this one so what to monitor is the endpoint what to monitor is the endpoint specify the endpoint by the ip address okay you specify this particular one with ip address only protocol is http so what is the primary website Oh, this is the one right primary website so you monitor this one first you monitor this one this is my ip address this is my ip address so i provide the same thing here paste this ip address host name uh, you can leave this as it is ip address we have given uh, host name you can leave blank uh, so that is the what we call is uh, uh, like this one anand.tk anandk.tk right www.anandk.tk port number is 80 leave it as it is a path is as it is leave it as it is in advanced configuration you see this is the url 
So if you click this particular one, it should function your website. That is the thing which you need to understand here, which is already functioning. Yeah, it is functioning. It's already functioning. So that this is now health check, which is the no additional cost selected view pricing. If you want, you can. If you want, you can expand this advanced configuration. You can see this particular one. If you see the standard is 30 seconds. If you want fast, but these are chargeable. So you can also reduce this one from three to two. The lower the value, the threshold. But I'm not changing this one, right? So I'm not changing any of these things. I'm just leave as it is. Just leave as it is. Scroll down. This is your URL, which already I mentioned. Say next. Say next. See two things you can change. One is your fast, and the other is threshold. You say next. Okay, if you want, you can create an alarm so that you can get a notification. But I don't want alarm now. Okay, you can create a topic and then you can uh, give mail address also. If you want, you can. So create an SNS topic or a new SNS topic. I'll show you here how you can do topic name. Maybe you can say primary. I'll just give a name, any name. Uh, primary. I'll say uh, website health. Recipient email address is my email address. I'm giving my email address anand.kethh at gmail.com. So that I'll get a trigger if there is a website failure. If there is a website failure, I get a mail. So create a health check. Yeah, now you can see this one. After a few minutes, after a few minutes, the health check will start functioning. If not, just trigger this particular one. Status is unknown now. Okay, meanwhile, let me just log on to my Gmail and accept that Gmail. I get a request saying that I need to accept that. Just wait. So this is uh, what we are doing is failure routing policy. We are trying to create a health check. You see this one AWS notification has come. Just confirm the subscription. Then only you will get the notifications. Okay, subscription confirmed. I go to the main box. Then now notifications can start functioning. Uh, just refresh. Yeah, you can see this one. It is healthy. Everyone, check this particular one. It started recording. 30 seconds is the time which we have subscribed. Uh, if, if you want even 10 seconds also you can uh, see this particular one. You can see this particular all the information. It is monitoring now. This primary website health checkup is done now. You can even go through this monitoring also. If there is any failure or anything, you can see the data is coming. Uh, it is functional. If there is a failure, then it will come down automatically. You can see this one. Even if there is an alarm also, it will come to know uh, insufficient data. But after a few seconds, it will come back uh, saying that OK, OK. Is this clear everything? So for solutions architect, you need to understand this particular one very much. So alarms are nothing. So description also I mentioned status is now healthy. It's now healthy. Every 30 seconds it checks. Every 30 seconds it checks. Yeah, any question in this first step? Now let us associate this uh, health check to our records, to our records. So here you see this one. I just duplicate this one. Route 53 itself, this health check I'm monitoring one side. The other side, what I do, I go to the hosted zones. Okay, already I have a hosted zone, just click that. I want to change the policy. I want to change the policy, routing policy. So what I do, So maybe I'll remove off this one because these are simple routing policies, right? These two which are there. I want to change this one. This one which I have created and this one also I will delete the record. I will delete the record. Delete. The other two leave it as it is. The other two leave it as it is. Create a record. I'll say www. Okay, this particular one has associate. Same thing. Uh, the value is the IP address which is the one this is failover where is that this is the one right this is my ip address for the first web server give the ip address and ttl 
uh, 300 seconds maybe you can reduce but it will cost maybe i'll give i'll try to give 15 seconds 15 seconds or you can give still lesser also it's okay now the most important thing is the failover routing policy i'm changing this failover routing policy okay and then what is the failover type this is primary server this is my primary server so what is my health check already i have created this health check here you see this one primary website health check select that so this will report you this will report you health check id this particular primary health check and in record id uh, you can write something information failover primary something any information you can write primary and say create a record create a record so now you can see this one there is a failover routing policy which has been defined okay this is a create records i have created already and also we need to create an alternative record we need to create an alternative record so that is your failover right primary you have defined you need to define the secondary also the failover one create a record so here also you can say www associate record leave as it is what is the value here we have the second one here you have the second one this is the one this is the one 54 dot something like that right this particular one uh ttl you can give 15 the same one which is there mm, this is again failover this is failover and now this failure record is secondary. This is the secondary one. If that is failed, then this is the one. In a health check, you, you need not because if the health check fails, it will come back. Here, if health check fails, then it should go back. But we have not, we don't want that. Record ID, you can write failure secondary, just a name. Failure secondary. And say uh, this one, just say create a record. So now you have two records created. You see this one failover primary and failover secondary with different IP address with a different IP address. So just wait. So this is your website. Let me check it's functioning, right? Just uh, I'll close this particular one. I'll close this particular one. Maybe www anandk.tk should function. All of you can also verify along with me. So is it functioning? The based on the primary one which we are doing now. Can one of you verify and tell me? Functioning. Okay. So let me also show you the health check. It is healthy. It is healthy. You can see this one. You can refresh this particular one. Healthy. Now what I do? This is the surest test which I'm going to do now. So this particular one web server, the first one, I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to stop this one. So what happens once this is stopped, the website should stop functioning, right? The website should start functioning and also it will inform route 53, there is a health failure. There is a health failure. So it should come red. Once the health failure comes, route 53 will automatically goes to the second server. That is what is our test. So I'm just stopping the instance. So it will come, it will see the threshold which we have given is 30 seconds. We need to wait and also TTL is 30, 300, I think, which we have given. So just wait. So you see this particular one. Uh, your website may not function. As of now, the website may not function. It will still rotate. It has to come back. It has, but everything will come back automatically. Just wait for two to three minutes. It should report after 30 seconds that this is not okay. The health is not okay. Still, it is for showing and monitoring also. It will report. It will report. Okay. Once you select this particular one, monitoring also will report all the dots. Every 30 seconds is reporting. So it will say that it will immediately come down. It will immediately come down. Just wait. So the lower the latency, uh, the thing will be faster. Uh, we I didn't change the latency. It is like that only. So let me wait. But your website will not function. So normally to get back the website automatically, you need to reduce the latency and also the timing factors. 
but that will incur a little bit more charges yeah if there are any questions let me know because it is 300 seconds right it has we had to wait the ttl and you can see the presentation also this is failure routing policy still there are still more this geo location routing policy so if you are in england automatically uh, based on the ip address itself automatically it will be uh, routed that is another thing which is there if you are in us the du us if it is in india the ina will translate the ip address basically or from which country it is coming address and then automatically this will be taken care this is another policy which is there we are doing a demonstration on failover routing so we understood about various kind of routing with simple weighted routing policy latency based routing policy and also failover routing policy which we are doing geo location routing policy and there is a multi value routing policy also based on multiple values you can check all these things right so these are the various kind of routing policies which we have so let me just go through this particular one where we are by this time it should be now yeah it is now unhealthy you see this one everyone has it gone down already more than half a minute oh, oh, finished so it has gone down another check also it has come it has come but still you see this one what happens it did not go through the failover it has gone to the failover server the yes, second sir. one yeah you can also try there the domain name is same it has automatically switched it has automatically switched to the alternative server i didn't do anything i just monitored that the server has a failover and one more thing which you can see in my mailbox i have a notification i have a notification alarm has come saying that you are receiving this alarm you can see this particular one view the alarm primary website health so and so low status low health status so there is an alarm there is an alarm here so now alarm alarm okay so you can check even the alarms also here there is one alarm which has come your website is functioning your alarm has come notification what is the action by the administrator they have to immediately check back the or retain back the server to the original condition then it comes back but users will not be affected is this clear the object of this routing policy failover routing policy but uh, normally usually uh, uh, organizations or any of the uh, e-commerce site or any of the site is maintaining these kind of things with the load balancer right absolutely load see not if it is on site not all people can afford to have load balancer right yeah that's that's okay mm. so then commercially commercially see today uh, today there are many micro containers and services which are there or the same website you can have two uh, partitions and then hosted one goes the other one also will be there okay in a different location also still the, the, that can be or some people based on the notification they'll switch on the server immediately yes right so, so anything can be done you are basically uh, wasting zero downtime correct a little downtime only your website will start functioning is there any limitation how many failovers can we create uh, or nothing it's only nothing. the primary health check then no. automatically it will switch over for that also if you create another health check you can switch over to something else okay we can right? maintain a chain like one is uh, down ha ah, 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 you can do that you can check to second check second is Absolutely. down then move to third correct so the very idea is that the customers should have the lowest uh uh the server unavailability without administrator's intervention so the services are going notification has gone to the administrator he will take care of all those things even though this is very advanced concept but it is recommended to have this knowledge for all of you now you understood the, about the complete architecture about how the web organization and how websites function right okay so now the last part for today 
is uh, basically to do the <laughs> what we call as uh, housekeeping. Okay, so one by one, I'll start the housekeeping. Please remember, we are doing on a free tire environment. So we obviously we need to uh, remove off all the things. First, remove off all these uh, associate records. Sir, I have one question. We have one yeah. primary server, right? Uh, mm -hmm. In the same way, we can have multiple the secondary servers. Absolutely. And you can create, see one failure, you can have multiple secondary servers. But health check needs to be monitored. If the secondary health check also fails, then it should go to where? Okay. We have to design like config ah, like, has to go correct. the second or third. Absolutely. But we really don't require one to one. Before that alarm comes, then automatically it will be there. Why should we have third server? Waste how the, the maintenance uh, once complete, uh, the first mm -hmm. server has gone down, right, for some reason. Right. So, you make it up and then bring back. Okay. Bring back. The server will be ready, right? Server will yep. be ready and then you can switch off this particular one. This becomes unhealthy and reverse way you can bring back. So, sir, normally, like, once the server is come back to the as a healthy stage, like primary, mm -hmm. The system mm -hmm. will automatically identify, oh, now the server one is... Uh, yes, uh, yes, that also, it will become healthy. But see, here there is only one bottleneck. See, we have defined the, uh, what we call as the IP address, right? Here in route 53. Uh, primary web server is 54 dot, right? This is the one. So if I switch on the server here now, if I switch on, I will not get the same IP, the earlier one, because the public IP is lost. I may get a different IP. Then I need to change the route 53 also. Correct. But if you have a static IP, static IP, I'll teach about this elastic IP, then you'll retain everything back. So static IP is free, right? There is no charge. Uh, no, 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 no. Static IP, see, for private address, it is free. Public is costly. Static IP, you need to pay Dedicated for that. I'll, I'll teach you, I'll teach you, I'll teach you tomorrow. Elastic IP, we call this one. So if you have shut down the server, it automatically uh, releases the IP address because public IP is costly. You cannot get it for free. Like I read somewhere, uh, no. so we can get elastic IP for free, but uh, if we I'll tell you, 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 I'll not confuse you today. Right? I'll tell you, I'll teach that. We have that is a part of the. So I'm just deleting the hosted zone. So uh, housekeeping is also a must. All the all the indications, whatever we have done, we are doing. So I have deleted the hosted zone. And also health checks also I have to remove. Don't leave that health checks also. So just delete that health check. Right, nothing. No health check, no hosted zones also. Nothing is there. So I can close all these windows. It won't function now because there is no... Uh, okay, still now my uh, these things are there. Servers are there. Uh, I can terminate these two. Terminate instances. Okay, it is coming down. Now it won't function. None of this will function. Yeah. Sir, this health check, it only like works if the server, if uh, any of the server fails, right? Or is there any... See, it monitors basically. How does health check work? It monitors basically. Every 30 seconds uh, it checks whether the server no, is there sir. or not functioning. No, IP sir, no. like, I'm asking like, uh, will it work on the basis of CPU utilization and something like no, that? No, no, no. It will only check availability. That's all. It's not CPU utilization or any other things. It will only do a kind of uh, ping. That's all. If it's functional, yes, health is working. Nothing else. Only like uh, fault tolerance. Not fault tolerance. It's not fault tolerance. It is only health check. Right? It it's, only checks yeah, whether the server be... is alive or not. <laughs> fault tolerance is redundancy. If one fails automatically to switch over here, it's not. The routing policy will switch over. Health check will not do. Health check will only report. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I was about to tell this. Like, uh... Okay. Okay. So now I have removed off all these things. I have terminated the services. You can see the CC2 dashboard. There is uh, nothing. Last but not okay. I'll also delete this. Uh, what we call as uh, the security groups also. Other than the default. But that is not chargeable, sir. Right? You said that earlier. Uh, no, these are not. I just delete this one. I just yes. delete. It. Not that. As part of housekeeping, we generally make it uh, accurate. Nothing more. Okay. Uh, okay. 
still more one more thing which i need to do is that i need to deregister here please don't leave it uh, name servers i want to delete this one not this one my domains where is that my servers my domains because if i don't require anything just wipe off all those things yeah uh, i can say manage domain select this particular one and manage and cancel domain cancel your domain finish next time if you want you can make use right i don't have anything i don't have anything services my domains nothing my subscriptions nothing okay zero is to cancel this is cancel after few minutes few hours it will go down and just you can say log out right any other questions any other questions so please go through this ppt notes everything is available i kept it here for you all for you all important notes also is there and also this website domain creation is also there creenom account creation is also there so if you want today's uh, notes also where do i keep where did i keep in sessions 19 notes i think yeah sessions 19 i'm placing this notes so. i just overread that you can dump those things yeah 13 kb yeah 14 kb so with this i think uh, i hope you all understood about this route 53 very well uh, my suggestion please go through at your convenience please go through this video also store this recordings for your convenience it will be very 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 helpful especially uh, if you want to be into solutions architecture i saw even there are some people there are some people in our earlier batches once after listening this route 53 this is the exact class which i am looking for for since very very long time that was the kind of reports also i mentioned i got like that exactly same thing since long time i was having this type of queries how to do how to do how to do now i got it okay so requirements are there like that so you need to practice at least once you will be happy to see all these things have your notes accordingly just see this recordings also and then you can easily uh, go through all these things right so tomorrow again one more important class i don't know why couple of members didn't attend for today even in spite today if there is some reason if all of you say that okay today we want to take an off we would i would have given that that is not a big thing but without mentioning if they keep a holiday like that then they are huge losers also we are into the core topics i tell you each topic whatever we do requires a higher level of elevated technical skills i tell you once you have to sit in the classroom you will understand even if you go through youtube channels or videos which are recorded from somewhere or the other even multiple times also you may not understand but if you sit in the class you will understand very well and you can easily go through all the exercises i mean this particular exercise is very easily that's why instructor led training is always highly highly effective for all of you my kind suggestion nothing no force for anyone if you are having urgent priorities then obviously you need to take up those priorities accordingly okay so that's all from me for today if there are still any questions from you all please do ask me without any without any hesitation i would really help you all these things and but my sincere request please practice everyone so tomorrow i'll be taking up one more important area that is on vpn virtual private network even though that is a very very off topic you may not get questions in the exam but really that sounds will be interesting yes shashank you are having a question uh, no sir i actually just just wanted to search that notes part but i didn't get in under the session folder you put it in under the session folder right sorry sorry the note part notes notes uh, uh, session 19 she, oh okay, session 19 sorry session 19 notes will be yeah. there Yeah, always notes yeah. i am keeping in session 19 otherwise okay. every day we keep changing the sessions right yeah, so yeah, i no, kept no. it universe uh, uniform yeah, right. right that is only my handwritten notes which is there it's only but that is not fair notes here it really it's give a very summarized and uh, actually recollective the those things uh, during the session 
okay uh, will 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 really helpful when whenever you try to read this kind of information Correct. it will crispy uh, actually crispy or basically we can say it's memorize all the things which we have done during the session so okay that kind of, that's what i am keeping it uh, every day updating okay. but do uh, not see don't forget also to read your articles i mean the yeah, topics yeah, yeah. sure sure sure, sure. Okay. so yes any other questions from any members if not then we will log off for today tomorrow again we'll catch up with a very 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 important one that is vpn you will really enjoy tell your friends also who are, are not coming to be part of this topics networking i don't think that anyone can really teach this topics i i don't think many people really lack this network they can teach applications they can teach storage they can teach uh, what is that ec2 load balancer and all these things but networking topics are a little bit technical oriented okay my solution please be there because there are many interactions which are there many interaction you have to understand dns you have to understand about route 53 and of course uh, uh, the hosting zone from other parties and then how to associate and how to inter and also the policies so many things are there right okay thank you everyone for all your time uh, bye from me thank you sir yeah yeah thank you thank you Thank you.